I did it, Tom. I spent an hour and a half going through our local flea market, but I finally found a thimble, and I can now do your challenge. Let's see. I have to bring it back by me, though. Otherwise, it doesn't want to focus on it. But I only paid a dollar for this little guy. Just a dollar. Well, that was pretty awesome. Um, it's Saturday. I don't go back to work till Monday. And I need my drill so I can use my diamond drill bit to put a hole in the bottom of it. So, there's that problem. But, first part's complete. I got the thimble. Now, once I get my drill, we'll get to working on this challenge you put out. Alright, so, finally remember to bring my drill home. And you know what that means. We're going to finally drill out this uh, little ceramic thimble. And get it ready to get potted up in. Alright, so I took the thimble. And I set it on this nice piece of wet paper towel here, so that's going to help absorb a little bit. Um, we're just going to wet the top, and then try and center this up the best we can here. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got our little pot, a little mess screen, a little maple. It's got some of its original soil on, so we're just gonna try to pack it in here with the original soil. And then we'll pack some bonsai soil around it. Just to get it in there all nice like. Let me put this tray under here because I'm definitely spilling this stuff trying to get it in here with this one. All right. Give me one second to grab my little water jug. And I'll be right back with you. All right, so we got the water jug. Now we're gonna pick up our little pot here and submerge it down into the water to just let all the air seep out. There's not much air in this one. Then we're gonna set it back down here and. Oh, sorry about that. I have to get you reset in the tripod here. Now that we're set in here, we're just gonna tap the saw down again. It's crazy that the smaller it gets, the harder it gets. And then this one, if I was to dip it back in water, it is going to drop again. But I'm not going to make you watch that. So I'm going to get it potted back up and then I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to finish potting it up, getting all the soil packed in, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so with most of my smaller plantings, I like to take a little layer of sphagnum moss because if you look real close right in here you can see some more roots that are just right up there at the top of this knuckle and I like to trap the moisture in the best I can. Sorry it's really hard to uh, focus on something so small but I'm just going to take sphagnum moss and pack it around the top of this. And what that's going to do is help trap the moisture in. Alright. So now we've got our sphagnum moss in there. I actually like the natural shape of this tree. Um, let me pull you out a little bit. And you can see it. Just kind of has just a little bit of a lean to it in the trunk. Super cool little guy. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do, honestly, is I have a little pot of soil that's dampened. I'm just going to open up a little spot in there for it. And we're going to set the tree inside it. That way, when it shoots out new roots, the roots can drop down and into it. And it can continue to grow strongly, but it's still going to be in its little pot. Is it cheating? Probably. Um, do I care? Not really. As long as I have a healthy tree, that's all I care about. So, that's it for this little guy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, you should hit the bell notifications to get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.